Good evening. It is Thursday, September 9th, 2010, and this is our tropical update for the day. Sorry we hadn't put one out earlier in the day. We were pretty busy. Went to the uh, fair last night. Had a blast. But uh, anyways, today our main focus is Tropical Depression Igor, which we, it was just downgraded to Igor. I don't, I don't know why they haven't put down any tropical update or uh, put new... Um, information out for Igor. It's uh, been since 4 o'clock since they've done that and it's now 8.40. I don't understand why that's been like that. but And we've also got new uh, system 92L out there. First of all, we'll talk about Tropical Depression Igor. Look, Let's look at Tropical Depression Igor here. I've drawn up a uh, drawn up a map here. This is the entire Atlantic. We've got this wave right here. It's about to come off of Africa. This will be our next system after these two. I'm pretty sure this system right here will, will become tro uh, Tropical Storm Julia. But Tropical Depression Igor, I originally in my yesterday's Tropical Update said that it would probably cross the Antilles or go this way, but it will not. It will not get cross the Antilles. It, and it, I do not think it will go towards the Bermuda Islands or across Florida because it has very little room to do that. It would take a small it would be a small chance that a ridge would set up and this that this would get get out of the way really fast and uh, this would move on through and stay its track. Well we'll still have to watch it. It's a little bit far out. Um I'm thinking that by by here this is probably Tuesday here. Probably Tuesday right here. Um it will more than likely be a, if not major, a strong Category 2. But the reason this is going to take this track is that this cold front that I have right here is going to push this way. It's going to continue to go east. And along, along with, the, with the fact that it's doing that, Tropical Depression Igor is going to come up. It's going to come up, and along with that moving east, it's going to take it with it and start making that turn and head out to sea along with the cold front here and it will die the closest it'll come to land the closest it will more than likely come to land is Bermuda here and that's about it but uh... that's that's that um... and then we got this new system that's a forty percent chance of development right here this is a ninety two l uh... it should more than likely it's moving slowly northwestward it's kind of taking a slow northwestward turn, but it's almost stationary at the moment. Um, it should go up here. I'll show you this this right here, 92L here. This is this time tomorrow. This is what the model's saying it's going to be. They're saying it's going to be right over here in the Antilles. Here is the center of circulation on it right here. Um, it should slowly move that that direction. Just kind of taking this northwestward kind of westward turn. And it should be, it should be around here in a few days or so. It should be moving this way up through here, and then we'll see where it goes from, from there. It's probably be where it ends up going somewhere around here. But uh, <clears throat> um, look at Igor's satellite here. This is Tropical Storm Igor. This is Tropical Depression Igor. Sorry about that. It really does look like Tropical Storm Igor though. Because you can look at how much it's blown up over the day. It went, it went, it underwent some reformation as it got away from those islands. But it has just exploded here, and I think it will be a Category One, if not by tomorrow night, probably. Well, not tomorrow night, probably Saturday. It'll more than likely, more than likely, be a Category One hurricane on Saturday. But it's going to move this direction and then start to take its turn, kind of go that way. But anyways, that's Tropical Storm Igor. Take a look at the storm track for it. It, it, it. This is a 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. The pressure was at 1,004 millibars. The winds were at 35 miles an hour. This is a tropical depression right now. It's moving northwest. Notice how it kind of takes this away, and then it just, just kind of stops, turns completely around, and starts going northwest. I do not know why it does that, but these storms do crazy things, folks, especially when they're out this far out to sea. But that's a uh, tropical depression, Igor. Um... Also, Tropical Depression Hermine, which is not even a Tropical Depression anymore, 
but it left it left behind some flooding rains. Just in a matter of 24 hours, folks, this is 8 to 12 inches of rain in this area. Here's Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma right here. This is just southeast of Tulsa, Oklahoma, that they've received, even out here, this is 4 to 8 inches of rain all in these areas. And just in here, there's 8 to 12, and there's got to be even isolated areas in here that were 12 to 16 inches. 92L here, the satellite. The satellite images shows that it is, let it reload here, um, it is going undergoing some reformation. It's losing its thunderstorm activity. It will regain its thunderstorm activity and will move up some, but and then move continue going westward. But uh, that's our tropical update. Here in about say two weeks, that we will really start getting going. I mean, the tropics are going to be so fired up. There could be three storms at once impacting the United States for the first time in many, many years. But we'll have to wait and see for that, folks. That's it for the Tropical Update. You can go online and visit us at firsthandweather.com, which is our new website, as quite a few of you know. You can also visit us on youtube.com slash oneweathernut, as many people know. And that's our Tropical Update for the night. Thank you, everyone, and have a great evening.